uh, the outcome-based curriculum, which is called the 844 as of today, should be strengthened and modified to suit the emerging needs and trends of education going by the changes that are dynamic and taking place in Kenya today. Uh, the secondary schools that we have today have no preparedness, have no capacity to receive grade 6 at junior secondary because they do not have adequate infrastructure, uh, infrastructural preparedness. The CBC classrooms that were built for them have been taken by a 100% transition. And it means today they have no extra classroom to house the incoming children. The teachers at secondary level have not been adequately trained to unlearn the 844 and learn and relearn the CBC curriculum. It means secondary schools have no preparedness to receive the grade 6. And therefore, grade 6, uh, 7, grade 7, 8, and 9 ought to be domiciled in primary schools where the teachers have trained, though not very adequately, and there is a little adequate infrastructural pro uh, provision because they have at least some classrooms which would have been left by grade 7 and grade 8. The timelines for this task force is a challenge before the transition of grade 6 to junior secondary in January 23rd, 2023. So if the timeline is too short, it means they have to work extra hard to give a preliminary report that will inform the transition or otherwise of grade 6 to the junior secondary. Uh, this must take cognizance of Education Act and Children's Act, in which the Education Act stipulates the age cohort that has to be handled at primary schools. It is 6 to 15. And therefore, if secondary schools are going to receive children from 12 years of age, has amendments to such provisions been made? Were the children contacted to make such changes in accordance with the Children's Act?